Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks. Nostradamus, Michel de Notre Dame. Nostradamus, also called Michel de Notre Dame or Nostradame, born December 14, 1503, Saint Remy, France, died July 1 half, 1566, Salon, French astrologer and physician, the most widely read seer of the Renaissance. Nostradamus began his medical practice in Aigon sometime in the 1530s, despite not only never having taken a medical degree but also apparently having been expelled from medical school. In 1544 he moved to Salon, where he gained renown for his innovative medical treatments, during outbreaks of the plague at Aix and Lyon in 1546-47. He began making prophecies about 1547, which he published in 1555 in a book entitled Centuries. The work consisted of rhymed quatrains grouped in hundreds, each set of 100 called a century. Astrology was then at a peak, and an enlarged second edition, dedicated to the French king, appeared in 1558. Will the future bring your wisdom to me, or will darkness rule the kingdom for all eternity, you will live in my heart, I will still remember even though we are apart, I will feel you there for me, as I walk the road of life, you help me fight for what is right, I will honor thy name. We need God to prosper those without him will not. Nothing in the world can one imagine beforehand, not the least thing, everything is made up, of so many unique particulars that cannot be foreseen. So many evils by Satan's prince will be committed, that almost the entire world will find itself undone and desolated. Before these events, many rare birds will cry in the air, now. Now, and sometime later will vanish. After there is great trouble among mankind, a greater one is prepared. The great mover of the universe will renew time, rain, blood, thirst, famine, steel weapons, and disease. In the heavens, a fire seen. Mankind will discover objects in space sent to us by the Watchers. Romano Pontifus, Gardate de Acercart et la Ciudad Regeta por dos Rios, tu sangre vendra ali circa a espiter, quando floresca la rosa, tu y los tuyos. Events of human origin are uncertain but all are regulated and governed by the incalculable power of God, inspiring us not through drunken fury nor by frantic movement, but through the influences of the stars. One whom the infernal gods of Hannibal will cause to be reborn, terror of mankind, never more horror nor worse days in the past than will come to the Romans through Babel. The great earthquake shall be in the month of May, Saturn, Capricorn, Jupiter, Mercury in Taurus, Venus, also Cancer, Mars in Zero. Sooner and later you will see great changes made, dreadful horrors and vengeances. For as the moon is thus led by its angel, the heavens draw near to the balance. Hercules king of Rome and of Anne Mark, three times one surnamed de Gaulle will lead Italy and the one of Saint Mark to tremble, first monarch, renowned above all. Near the gates and within two cities there will be scourges the likes of which were never seen, famine within plague, people put out by steel, crying to the great immortal God for relief. The inflated imitations of gold and silver, which after the rapture are thrown into the fire, all is exhausted and dissipated by the debt. 
all scripts and bonds are wiped out. At the fourth pillar dedicated to Saturn, split by earthquake and flood, vexing everyone, an urn of gold is found and then restored. The young man, born to rule England, which his dying father commended to him. Once his father is dead, London will cavil. The kingdom is taken back from his son. The religion of the name of the seas will triumph against the sect of the son of Adelunkadif, the obstinate, lamented sect will be fearful of the two wounded by Aleph and Aleph. The body without soul is no longer at the sacrifice. At the day of death, it come to rebirth. The divine spirit will make the soul rejoice seeing the eternity of the world. Earth-shaking fire from the center of the earth will cause tremors around the new city. Two great rocks will war for a long time, then Arethusa will redden a new river. In the third month, the sun rises, the boar and the leopard on the field of Mars to fight, the tired leopard raises its eye to the heavens, sees an eagle playing around the sun. From the depths of the west of Europe, a young child will be born of poor people, he who by his tongue will seduce a great troop, his fame will increase towards the realm of the east. Germany, a new sect shall be born which shall renew ancient pagan times. The great empire will be torn from limb, the all-powerful one for more than 400 years, great power given to the dark one from slaves come. On the fields of Media, of Arabia, and of Armenia, two great armies will assemble thrice. The host near the bank of the Araxes, they will fall in the land of the great Suleiman. England, one without a trace of royalty will master. Twenty months he will rule, twenty months he will bleed the lands, then his end comes quickly. Very near Auk, Lectur, and Mirande, great fire will fall from the sky for three nights. A most stupendous and astonishing event will occur. Very soon afterwards, the earth will tremble. Five and forty steps the sky will burn. Fire approaching the large new city. Instantly a great thin flame will leap when someone will want to test the Normans. The blood of the just will be demanded of London burnt by fire in the year 66. The ancient lady will fall from her high place, and many of the same sect will be killed. 